Here's an important fact with some key information for us, which is how long will email subscribers look at your email? So this isn't talking about junk emails, anything. This is people who have actually subscribed to receive emails from you. How long will they spend looking at each individual email they send? This is really important because it tells us how we should structure our emails. This is data from litmus.com, which measures these kinds of things in a lot of ways. Okay, so here's the data. Nine seconds. That's it. That's all that you get. And here's the thing. That number is down. And by the way, that's 2021 numbers. We're almost done with 2022. So it's probably more like eight seconds now because here's the trend. 2018, it was 13.4 seconds. 2019, it was 11.8. 2020, it was 10. 2021 is nine. My guess is it's probably around eight in 2022. So what does this mean for you and me as we write our emails? Well, the most important thing is this. Short and sweet wins. You need to write short. So the old fashioned, so, so there's, there's a bunch of people who are still trying to teach the old model of a story model and where, where you write these, these emails that take like six pages to print out. Virtually guarantee the vast majority of people who do that, that's no longer working. Short and sweet wins. Number two, so that what that really means, five to eight sentences total. Ideally, by the way, those five to eight sentences are each an individual paragraph. I know your English teacher is rolling over in the grave hearing that, but that's the way people read emails. All right. So the second key thing to, to notice is this. Your goal is to hook them with your email, to get them started down the process of your story, to get them started. And then goal two is to get them to click a link get them off their email because email is a transactional process. I read this email, I go on to the next one. I'm trying to clear out all the emails I've got to read. Once you get them out of emails onto a web page, onto a blog post, onto an article, onto something else, what you've just done is you've just shifted their mindset from I'm getting through all my emails to, oh, this is interesting, I'm going to read this. That's why the email's purpose is to hook them and get them to click the email. And then that long story, the, the, the way you do that, Let's try this again. <laughs> That's the wrong card. Basically, you handle what they're doing, that the message, the work is done after they click. That's where you can have your long stories. Third, third meaning, I've already mentioned this, long stories in email are way less effective. They just don't get readership anymore. And this is especially true if your story has an extremely long introduction. If that introduction takes more than a sentence, you've probably lost them. Why? Because people are reading emails to get to an objective. They want to get there as fast as possible. Giving them a long introduction does not work. So your job with emails is to hook them, get them to click, and then do the work on the next page. When you've got total control, they're not in that environment. They're not thinking about getting through all their emails. You can put graphics, you can put video, you can do all kinds of things on that next page. That's the ideal. Now, by the way, every time they click, it improves your deliverability, both to that person as well as your deliverability overall to you know somebody on, reading on Gmail clicks, it tells Gmail, hey, people are interested in this. So that improves your de deliverability. All right, there's your lesson. Nine seconds, probably eight now. All you got in an email. What are you gonna do in that? You're gonna hook them, and you're gonna send them off someplace else so you can get them out of that mindset into a mindset of reading more or maybe watching a video so that you can do more there. What's your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. This is Don Crowther saying, just go do this stuff. Mm -hmm.